Hello everyone, welcome to your daily reading for August 17th, 2014. And I'm going to start with one uh, Gillian Kemp Tree Magic and then um, draw, I don't know, however many chicken cards. <laughs> We have uh, duplicity, the poplar tree, duplicity, duality and duplicity, suffering and bitterness, enlightenment and happiness are at play. Okay, I don't know why I'm going to draw another one. <laughs> well, I think we just had this recently too, but, oh, okay, and we just had this one too. And then we have um, strength, and it says, uh, strength grows through time bringing the reward of honestly living up to great expectations so um, yeah these energies have been present for a little while then in combination um, you know it, it it's really about kind of pulling ourselves through with um, anything right now it seems like everybody's readings are kind of taking a a downturn. I mean, not the readings, but like the you know the con like what's going on. The energy, the energy that is being read is uh, taking a downturn. And um, yeah, I I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of the same kind of thing surfacing that's been going on for a little while. And um, you know, it's really about uh, not being a part of that. And you know, maybe maybe you know, dealing with it to get out of it, but not staying in it, or, um, you know, making ourselves as beyond it as possible. You know, we have this little owl in the tree, so it's just like, you know, use that wisdom. I know somebody mentioned um, that they're in a situation where they just, they can't go. I mean, it's not an option, and, you know, that happens a lot. So it's, it's really about, um, you know, staying beyond it and staying in your strength, and, um, you know, just really honoring your vulnerability and and um, finding the power within that, and you know, allowing allowing whatever is out there to be, and and you know, staying beyond it and moving beyond it. So, okay, let's see what we got for chickens. Okay, we have tie tip, which is. Um, Magical means magical people. Free, free magical people. And umlilo, which means fire in, in Zulu. And yiki, that um, she represents metal that cuts in Aborigine language. And we have Kali, who, who's the uh, Hindu goddess. She's the ultimate, ultimate um, goddess, benevolent mother that ends linear time and ushers in, in immortality through um, the ending of the, the Kali Yuga, the time that we're in right now where um, everybody gets out of hand and, the, you know, it's like the mother comes in and disciplines everyone. <laughs> so... Um, She's the bene benevolent one, but she's, she's, you know, the strongest one to wield that sword and, um, you know, cut, cut through illusion and, um, you know, stand in that truth always. So, okay. Stepping back and looking at these. Um, okay. Well, this this is kind of it, the way I'm seeing this is this is like um, kind of physical world directives over here, and on this side we have um, kind of mental spiritual directives. So on this side we have um, Thai tip, which is really surrounding yourself um, with people in an institution or a group of people, um, or you know somehow being a part of of a positive group of people doing something good 
you know, so um, it's it's about an institution that brings people together, and it is a really positive, um, you know, expression of of relationship and uh, creativity and um, you know genius. It, it's the meeting of minds, the meeting of hearts, the meeting of arts, the meeting of um, you know souls. So. Where, where people get together and, and really um, explore their their authentic nature, you know, their their true spiritual, supernatural spiritual part of them that we all have, you know, just really getting in touch with um, your your superhuman self, you know, and and expressing that and finding ways to um, not only explore it but you know produce from it so um, this is all about you know places that produce like really uh, beautiful I don't know coming togethers and in projects and you know different things um, there's so many places I can think of that uh, you know they they just offer the the coolest stuff for people and there's so many resources out there where you can go and and really um, you know just have a retreat and have your whole world turned around you know so um, anyway and and um lilo is about really about that passionate um, fire within you that and the number ten is actually um, you know community also so this is is really about that passionate fire with you in you that you're sharing with people and that you have in you know in combination with people it's like taking that light from your heart and lighting up everybody else's candles you know and then they you know the everybody can do that to you too it's like you know we can just use one candle to light more and and really get our our passions which is you know passions in a positive way like um you know the the spiritual the spiritual, supernatural, uh, superhuman part of you, you know, that that's your spiritual fire, or that's your, your fire anyway, you know, everything, everything that, um, you, lights you on fire, you know, fires you up in that positive way is something that really feeds your soul, it's something that feeds not only your soul, but other people's souls also, so, um, yeah, it, it seems like, something about people um, being with other people and you know finding your people and working with people or like doing doing something every time I get this card I'm like I gotta go back to yoga <laughs> but I, I mean it could be anything it could be stuff online you know it's really cool I reconnected with my grad school you know and even you know getting a book my my dad's getting me this really awesome book um, about Margaret Mead that just came out it was a anthropologist really famous anthropologist and it's a bestseller and that's exciting you know that's still like my passion that's something that resonates with you in your life that you want to kind of connect with and strengthen here and um, you know get those creative creative juices flowing I mean sometimes it's even a book that you're gonna connect with and all of the ideas and, and the um, information in there in fact I just finished a book on this place Esalen and um, I, it's a place from my past and that I, I would like to make this place just like t uh, Thai Tip over here in, in Thailand and um, model it after that and just reading that book was just like kind of connecting to the community through the book you know so I mean it could be like that but this is uh, talking about like a something in the tangible world that is filled with that creativity whatever it is that you need to connect with to get this fire going so you know it even if it's not um, you know a group of people it could be a book it could be it could be um, you know a mini series that you need to watch or you know I mean anything something that um, really is calling calling your soul to get guided by for information or get sparked up or lit up about for for um, momentum in your life and you know getting getting your resources and getting your kind of your um, trajectory 
going and, you know, warmed up and re- get yourself ready to go for, you know, whatever, living, living out your soul and living out your passion. And then on this side, we have um, core values. Uh, yiki is metal that cuts, but in Chinese medicine, um, it's about core values and uh, people you really care about, too, because a- Aborigines have, like, a phenomenal uh, relationship with each other. They're, they're just very special in their their the health of their relationships with one another. So this is this is really about you know what do we value? What's most valuable to us? And um, you know it it could be uh, people or it could be um, I don't know anything anything that is you know of this soul or you know anything that really um is a part of you anything that's a part of you and sometimes people can be a part of you or um just you know things in your life you know chickens or whatever (laughs) you know whatever is a part of you um you know your the causes you you put yourself into you know the marathon that you walk for hunger or something you know um, so this is really about connecting with our values and, and um, really sitting with those and surrounding ourselves by what we value and um, just standing in our truth and staying focused on, you know, what we value and, um, you know, with integrity. I, I don't know why I never talk about that with Kali, but that's really, I mean, she has so much integrity she lives the inner truth you know not only does she stand for truth but she herself is is sound she is she never does wrong in in her heart in her intentions she has integrity you know she might that's why she's powerful to wield the sword that's why she's power and it's funny because yiki is actually metal that cuts and and you know we need to cut away I always talk about that balance of sacrifice for what we, you know, sacrifice of what is t- holding us back or not working with us for what we value. Those two things go together. So, um, you know, it's interesting because she, she's, she's metal that cuts and it's about paring away and slicing away and, you know, removing anything that doesn't belong in our life, anything that doesn't uh, make us feel good, anything that makes us, you know, upset or crazy you know if if we you know I know we can be stuck in situations but we can still um, not let that stuff bother us and not let it get to us and still wield that sword and not you know not give it any power or attention and um, you know it doesn't mean no action it's just that you're not caught up by um, you know, emotions or uh, thoughts, you know, you don't want sticky thoughts, you want all your thoughts to go, you want to, if you have to wield that sword, you you need to, like, uh, be able to come right out of that space and, and be, um, you know, focused on your values and what, what you, uh, you know, what you're protecting. You need to, to focus on what you're protecting rather than, um, you know, what you have to do to protect it, you know, so um, I always think about sometimes, I, I notice this, sometimes people have a reaction in a, a time of danger uh, you know, something is coming at you and you have a child you know, say, you know, a dog coming at you and you have a child do you go after the dog or do you just protect the child? My instinct is always to protect the child, and but other people have the instinct to go after that dog you know so it's like, well, what? Where's your instinct? You know, it's like, uh, I, I know that sometimes we need to do that defense or whatever. But I think there's almost a way where you can do them both if you focus on that child and then, like, you know, in in your peripheral view or with your side swipes or with your side perception, with your side, your side lining of action you um, wield that sword, you know, so it's like, uh, you can still, you can still push the dog off, 
but you're focused on the baby and you're protecting the baby at the same time instead of just going after that dog. You know, um, a friend of mine, we were talking about how he would go after somebody, you know, and hurt them if someone hurt their loved one. And I, I was saying, well, I, I wouldn't do that because I'd be... I'd, I wouldn't want to eliminate myself or eliminate the other people, or, you know, like, I mean, uh, not the other people, but I wouldn't want to eliminate myself or the um, the people I'm protecting. I wouldn't want to jeopardize any of that by wielding my sword, you know. So, uh, you know, if, if you go after somebody, you hurt yourself, you, you might endanger them, you know. I mean, it's like you just, instead of focusing on on the battle, you focus on what you what you are protecting and, you know, do everything you can to keep yourself safe and keep the what you're protecting safe. And then, you know, when you have to, when the moment presents itself, when you get that clear, you know, that clear swipe that is going to just take care of the situation, that's when you, you know, wield the sword. And um, so even though, it's, so it's almost like spontaneous. It's like you don't want to focus on it or plan on it. You focus on your own stuff and your own life and then use that spontaneous moment, that spontaneous calling. I always talk about that, you know, when the universe moves you to do something, you know, you, you will be protected because you have those instincts. You know, it's, it's not that you're giving up your power of protection. It's almost like you're conserving your energy so then when you do need to do that, you know, have that protection, you can, um, you know, have, have it full force and have it a lot more potent and a lot more powerful rather than if you were to be focusing on that. So it's like, you know, it's almost like if you focus on it, you have a whole bunch of energy spent and you conserve it all and you keep it all within you if you don't focus on it. If you focus on what you value, it just stays in you and, and um, collects, you know. And then the moment comes where you, you really need that protection. You really need to, you know, uh, take care of, you know, keep everything safe, you know, save a life. At that moment, then all of that that would have been spent over a long period of time comes out in one moment. And in that one moment, it's extremely potent so that, you know, I mean, it, it takes care of of your values. It takes care of your needs. It, it protects. It, um, it is like the, the ultimate slash that, you know, ends this, this linear time or this situation. We have the duration card, you know, it ends that duration. You end the duration of the past and, and move into that new age. You usher in a new age for yourself, a new era for yourself, a new era for the people around you because uh, we, we definitely all pick up and feel everybody else. So if you do it for yourself, you do it for people around you, you do it for, um, you know, the, the whole of, of people, you know, that hologram concept of, of the universe. It's, it is really felt when we all start to shift as individuals. Uh, it shifts the collective, too, because it is felt. So anyway, um, so yeah, the, this is uh, really about kind of aligning ourselves with, um, with our core values and staying focused on that, staying focused on our integrity and our truth and, um, you know, what is, is essential, what is of essence, what is eternal. We focus on the eternity. We focus on what is eternal, which is our, you know, the essence, the soul, you know, so all the soul stuff. And this is, on this side, is talking about um, we actually can enhance our, our um, soul qualities and bring out our soul, our magical nature, our magical freedom, you know, our freedom of of um, being superhumans, being in that higher self with our fire. So, um, you know, this is about lighting our passion up and, and getting our connections and resources. So um, really pulling us, ourselves out of the duplicity and, you know, staying strong in, in ourselves here for this reading. So anyway, um, almost out of time. So I will see you all again tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.